Hello everyone, today I Abhijit and my teammates will be giving an in-depth review and a demo implementation of our project deepfake video detection. So this is our problem statement. Our main aim is to design and develop a deep learning algorithm to classify whether the video is a deepfake or a pristine. We will be covering various aspects of project such as what are deepfakes. Why there is need for directing the deepfakes? How these deepfakes are created? Followed by the system architecture, including different modules in our project such as dataset exploration, pre-processing, model architecture, training flow, prediction flow, and different tools and technologies used for implementing the project. Results, demo, and at the end, we all will also be discussing various frequently asked questions. So, what is a deepfake? Deepfake is a technique for human image synthesis based on artificial neural network. Deepfakes are created by superimposing a source image on a target video using generative adversarial network. In this video, you can see that from a one original video, different deepfakes are created by using different source images. Can we detect deepfakes with naked eyes? Let's see. Here are some videos, out of them, some are real and some are fake. Let's see if you can detect them or not. Here are the results. Did you spot the videos right? If not, don't worry. It's almost impossible to spot the deepfake by naked eyes. That's why we are developing an algorithm to detect deepfakes. Why it is important to detect deepfakes? The growing computation power has made the deep learning algorithm so powerful that creating a deepfake has become very simple. Scenarios where realistic deepfakes are used to create political distress, fake terrorism, revenge porn, blackmail people are easily envisioned. There is one famous incident of Mark Zuckerberg where in the deepfake video, he said that many personal information of user was sold to third party company which led to huge financial loss to Facebook. There are some more popular deepfakes of Donald Trump and Barack Obama which, are used, which were used to create political tension and evokes around the people. So it becomes very important to detect these deepfakes and avoid the percolation of these deepfakes in the social media platform. So we have implemented a deep learning based method to detect these deepfakes. We are using an AI to fight an AI. How these deepfakes are created? These deepfakes are basically created using different deepfake creation tools like FaceSwap, FaceIt. These tools use generative adversarial network that is GAN and autoencoder as their base algorithm for creating the deepfake. These tools split the video into a frame and pass it to an autoencoder which later swaps the target image on source image and the decoder generates the manipulated deepfake video. Further using different tools, the quality of the deepfakes can be enhanced by removing the leftover traces, making the deepfakes very much realistic. But still, these videos leave some traces which may not be visible to user by naked eye. We are using these traces as a key feature of our model to detect whether the video is deepfake or not. RNN for deepfake detection. The pre-trained ResNext CNN model is used for extracting the frame level features and a LS Based on the extracted feature, an LSTM network is trained for video classification. We have gathered a dataset of 50% fake videos and 50% real videos. The dataset is passed to a pre-processing phase. After a pre-processing, the processed phase crop video dataset is created. Further, the dataset is split into train and test data. The data loader is used for loading the training videos and the labels which are further passed to the deepfake detection model which consists of RSNX for feature extraction and LSTM for video classification. Confusion matrix is used for model evaluation to get the accuracy of the model. 
after training the final model the model is been exported so that it can be loaded in into the front end application for prediction if we discuss the prediction workflow the uploaded video is first of all pre processed and it is passed to the loaded pre trained model the reloaded pre trained model will give the output as fake or real hello my name is jay patel and i am going to explain data sheet which required for our project for training and testing purposes for making the model efficient and real time prediction we have to gather a data from different available data set like face forensic deep fake detection challenge celebrity deep fake further we are mix the data set the collected data set and create our own new data set to accurate real time detection on different kind of videos to avoid the training bias of the model we have consider 50% real and 50% fake video deep fake detection challenge data set consist of a certain audio alter video as the audio deep fake are out of scope we have pre proceed deep fake detection challenge data set and remove the audio alter video from the data set by running the python script after pre processing deep fake detection data set we have taken 1500 real and 1500 fake videos from the deep fake detection data set and 1000 real and 1000 fake videos from the face forensic data set and 500 real and 500 fake videos from the celebrity deep fake data set which make our total data set consisting 3000 real and 3000 fake video and the total number of videos 6000 and further this data set pass to the pre processing phase hello my name is abhishek patange now let's move on to pre processing of videos in this step the videos are pre processed and all the unrequired noise is removed from the videos only the required portion of the video that is face is detected and cropped The first step in the pre-processing of the video is to split the video into frames. After splitting the video into frames, the face is detected in each of the frame and the frame is cropped along the face. Later, the cropped frame is again converted to a new video by combining each frame of the video. The process is followed for each video which leads to creation of process dataset containing face only videos. The frame that does not contain the face is ignored while pre-processing. as a video of 10 seconds at 30 frames per second will have total 300 frames and it is computationally very difficult to process 300 frames at a single time in the experimental environment so based on our graphic processing unit that is gpu computational power in the experimental environment we have selected 150 frames as a threshold value while saving the frames to the new dataset we have only saved the first 150 frames of the video to the new video to demonstrate the proper use of long short term memory that is lstm we have considered the frames in sequential manner that is first 150 frames and not randomly the newly created video is saved at frame rate of 30 fps and resolution of 112 into 112 the process video is passed to the model for training these are the different layers available in our model for training a deep neural network in an optimized way we have used a resnet 5032 into four dimension pre trained model for feature extraction resnet 50 consists of a 50 layers with 32 nodes in each layer and is a four dimension model which is capable of learning 25.0 into 10 raised to 6 number of parameters the output of the resnex model after the pooling layer is a feature vector which is then fed into a sequential layer layer the sequential layer fed the input to the lstm we have used one lstm layer with 2048 latent dimensions and 2048 hidden layers along with a chance of dropout at 0.4 the output of the lstm is further processed by linear and adaptive average pooling layer and the final softmax layer chooses the output is real or fake with the confidence of the matrix confident here is the probability of the matrix so if we look at the workflow of the model a new face crop video is first created and then passed to the resnet model resnet model keeps the feature vector as the output and that output is fed into lstm LSTM does the sequence processing of the video and classifies the video as the fake or real.
Hello, I am Hitendra Patil. As my teammate Abhishek has explained the pre-processing in detail. Further, the pre-processed video loaded into train and test data set with a ratio of 70% train videos and 30% test videos. The train and test split is balanced split, that is 50% of the real and 50% of the fake videos in each split. Data loader is used to load the videos and labels from the CSV file. After loading, divided the videos are passed to the model. Training do started for 20 epoch with a batch size 4 on the train data with a learning rate of 0.0001, weight decay of 0.001. After one epoch of training, the model is tested on the test videos. After the model has completed training, then confusion matrix generation which gets the accuracy of model on past data. Plots of accuracy and validation loss are created which are displayed in videos further. After training, the model is exported in PyTorch model so that it can be loaded into frontend for real-time prediction. Flow diagram. In a flow diagram, the first case is user video in which we have to upload a video which we have to check whether it is deep fake or real. Once we upload a video, it is transferred to the pre-processing unit. The first step of pre-processing unit is to split a video into a frame. After splitting the video into a frame, the face is detected in each of the frame and the frame is cropped along with the face. And the next phase is load train model. The pre-processed video is passed to the train model. Train model process the video on the learn parameter during the training phase and based on the learn parameter, the model gives the output whether it deep fake or real. So, what tools and technologies we have used? First of all, the programming languages. Python 3 and JavaScript are the programming language we have used. Next, programming frameworks. PyTorch and Django are main programming frameworks we have used. Google Colab, Jupyter Notebook and Visual Studio Code are the integrated development environment that is IDE. Also, we have used cloud services as Google Cloud Platform and version control that is Git. These are the results achieved after training the final model. You can see that the accuracy of the model is increasing as the sequence length is increasing. But at a an, at an certain level, the accuracy of the model flattens. For example, you can see that in the face forensic dataset, after training 40 frames, the accuracy almost remains constant. It does not change as much. In our dataset, which has been made to enable the real time training, the accuracy of the model is increasing as the sequence length is increasing. Graphs of model with 80 frame sequence length and on our dataset is shown below. You can see that the training and validation loss is decreasing with the increasing number of epochs. The same goes with the training and validation accuracy. The training and validation accuracy is increasing with the increasing number of epochs. This is the confusion matrix for one of our models. It's time for the exciting thing that is the live demo. Welcome to the demo. This is our front-end Django application. It is currently running at localhost. This is our home page from which a user can upload a video and submit it to the model for prediction. The user has a feasibility of using a file and selecting the sequence length. Sequence length here means the number of frames to be processed and submit to the video for prediction. Sequence length here are a slider you can say select the sequence length as you want. Currently we have a more trained models up to 100 frames. In future if there is one any model available like suppose 150 model is available it will be automatically available in the slider as it is a dynamic application. So let's select one video and submit it for prediction. So this is the video. Currently we don't know whether it is a fake video or real video. We will be seeing what our model predicts it. Let's upload the video. So till the time the video is getting uploaded, I will explain you what the model will do. 
for prediction. First of all, the model will split, uh, split the video into a frame. Then from that frame, it will crop the faces and these cropped faces will be passed to the model. Since we have selected sequence length of 20, so 20 frames will be passed to the, our model. And the model will give the prediction based upon that 20 frames. So here you can see that the frame split is visible here. There are, these are 20 frames as we have selected the sequence length of 20. The faces cropped from these frames are visible here. So output is visible here. It's a real video. So you can also see the output while playing this video. In a, if you play this video, the output will be rendered across this face. So to display the output across that face, we have used a face API, which is a client side API, which uses the GPU of the client to render the output. Yeah, you can see that the output is there. It is a real video and 99.7% is the confidence that is the probability of the model. Our model is 99.7% sure that this is a real video. So to, to render that we have used a face API which is a client side API which uses the GPU of the client. If the client has a lower end GPU it will take more time to display the output. Uh, let's, take, let's take one more example of a fake video. So let's upload one fake video from here. This is the same deep fake video of the real video that we have processed earlier. Uh, let's submit it to a model and check if the model classified it as a deep fake or a real video. So here are the results. Again, in the same way, the frames are split. We have passed 20 frames, so 20 frames are split, faces are cropped, and these cropped faces are passed to the model. So a model has given that it is a deep fake video. Let's play the video and see the results in the playing video. So you can see that our model is 100% sure that this is a fake video. That's all in our demo. This is the way you can detect whether the video is a deep fake or a real video. It's time for the frequently asked questions now. Let's see some of the frequently asked questions. What will happen if video containing no faces is uploaded? The model will not process the video during the time of pre-processing the video model. It will return an exception saying no face found, so unable to process. What will happen? The text file is uploaded instead of video. Since our Django deepfake application has a good quality of validation, our application will only allow our video files to be uploaded. Okay, what will happen if very large video is uploaded? Our application will only allow up to 100 MB video. So if your video greater than 100 MB, you will not be upload the video. What will happen if the video containing multiple faces is uploaded? So this is a video that okay. has multiple uh, faces. Just... So let's upload the video and check the results. So I already mentioned that the model will take the faces from the frames that it has occurred in curve first. So from this video, the model has only took two frames and it has passed these two frames to the weather. Based on that two frames, the model has given the output that these two faces were fake. So when we passed multi, uh, a video with many faces, the model's result is unpredictable. As the model is programmed and trained to detect the fake, the fakes based on only one video. And that's all for today's review. Hope you have enjoyed the review. Thank you and have a nice day ahead.